Good morning everyone, Gadget here for another Henry's Calling the Shot. And in this episode, I'm gonna talk about posing your model and posing with intention. The three techniques that we're gonna cover for this episode is a professional headshot, a candid portrait, and an editorial image. I'm gonna walk through how you can get the most out of your subject and give you techniques that you can use with just about anyone. What are the best practices? What are some of the things that you should avoid? Now, before I get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, there's a ton of great content on the way. With that out of the way, let's get it started. We're joined by our local model and actor, Jeff Reese, and for our first shot, we're gonna take that business portrait. So whether it's your LinkedIn page or a website, how do you get the shot right and avoid some simple mistakes? I asked Jeff to get into a seated position the way he wouldn't if he were taking a portrait. And as you can see here, most people they'll get on a stool, cover the whole thing and get comfortable, which leads to this slouching here. We're actually gonna ask him to move forward on the stool, straighten up the back and angle the shoulders toward us. We're trying to take an interesting business portrait. So the result of this is all of a sudden this straightening of the back elongates the neck and actually leads to a more confident position in our portrait. The shoulders being angled well, it looks less like a mug shot. It's more dynamic. The overall look that we're going for is someone that portrays confidence, but also relax. We don't want them to cross their arms and look like they're blocking something, something that's natural, but also like they belong, that they are a professional. And look at me. Perfect. Jeff, the tech startup in Toronto here. Perfect, so that's our shot here. And as you can see, from those slight adjustments, we have that confident, relaxed look that we're going for. Now we're gonna change the position, change the background to give him an alternate shot. With any of these shots, even the ones that we're gonna take later on, think about framing, think about composition. You don't wanna cut off limbs, so any of the joints, if it bends, don't cut off there. Think in between that space, so at the forearm or at the thighs. This is gonna give you plenty of room to work with when you are editing in post, but also it's just gonna give you a more natural shot. We're now gonna shoot our alternate shot on a black background. And when we're doing a standing position, sometimes it gets overly complicated. It doesn't have to be, just keep a few things in mind. So with the feet, if you're standing with the feet pointed toward the camera, the model, it feels tense, it feels awkward. So what we're gonna do, that right leg, we're gonna move it back about half a foot. I'm gonna ask them to put most of your weight on that back leg. This front leg here, we're gonna kick it out just a little bit more. Left hand, we're gonna put it in your pocket. Pretend there's a string just running along your back, just straightening your back a bit more. And then as we're taking the pictures, we'll move the head, make slight adjustments to get the shot we're looking for. Just lean back a little bit on that back leg. Chin up a little bit. There you go. And that's it, that's the shot we're looking for. When you're leaning toward the camera, you can make the head seem larger than it actually is. It's all about balance and finding the right shot in this moment. So now that we got this shot, let's move to our second setup. For this shot, we're gonna go candid, relaxed, uh, how Jeff would look like if you were taking a picture for Instagram. So we're gonna lean back a little bit, uh, arm out here, yeah, right? And you're just gonna rest on that and just make sure your fingers and hands are relaxed over here. This leg, just kick it a little bit further. And that toe, don't point it toward the camera. We're just gonna angle it away. Same with this thing here. We're just gonna angle it out that way and bring your hand higher up on the thigh. I want you to embody Nicolas Cage in National Treasure for these shots, all right? I, wanna, I want that. Now I know this is a posing video, but I'm gonna give you a bonus lighting tip. Pros use this all the time. We're gonna take our strobe, put it against the window to boost the natural light. We're gonna work through a few positions and try to get the shot we're looking for. Can I get you chin down a little bit and then look away? Can I get one with the hand up? There it is. Give me a little bit of a smile. Playful Jeff, this is a playful Jeff. There it is. This shot I really like. I think that's the real Jeff right there, mm -hmm. right? Pondering, pondering, pondering Jeff. Perfect, so. Just a nice shot to wrap up with. The big difference with the last shot and this setup is that you wouldn't put that previous picture in your Christmas card. This one you might, it's this candid, natural look. When you're doing this setup, 
Make sure that your model is relaxed, mirror the movement, show them what you're looking for, and allow them to go through the motions, make slight adjustments. And pay attention to the hands and feet, where are they pointed, are they tensed up, or are they relaxed? It all plays into the bigger picture. Now that we're done here, we're going to move to our next setup. We have our lighting set up, we have our negative fill as well, and with this shot, it's an editorial shot, right? It's not a candid picture. The difference is really that with this, we're trying to tell a story. The first picture, it's a professional shot, right? That's professional Jeff. The last one was candid Jeff. This is editorial Jeff. This is all about conveying a message to someone that's looking at it. And with this, we're considering everything, the elements that we're bringing in, the clothes that he's wearing, the prop that he's using. We're trying to show that he's creative. Now, if we look at the pose, we have him angled toward the camera as if he's about to jump off the couch a little bit, maybe start playing the guitar. The hands, making sure that they're relaxed. They can see the separation in the fingers so they don't look like penguin hands here, really. And with the feet, they're angled outward, not toward the camera. When you bring all these elements together, you start to tell the story of Jeff, the creative individual, something that's a lot more editorial than the last picture we took, and something that's more in line of something you'd see in a magazine. Let me show you this. I mean, that's the shot right there, right? And really, with editorial photography, it is about the story, so it's not just posing. It's the art direction, the location, the props, and how they play off of each other, right? The uniformity of the lines here versus the texture in his clothes and the guitar, and how it all comes together to tell the story that we're looking for, more than a candid shot would. Thank you so much, Jeff. Now that we got the image, let's go back to the desk and wrap this up. There you have it, three unique scenarios and how to get the most out of each. Now the most important thing I should say, above anything that I've covered, is build a rapport with your subject. Get to know them if you haven't already. That rapport will pay dividends throughout your portrait session. It'll lead to more natural and pleasing looking images. In this video, I used the Canon EOS R with a 24-105 f4 lens, a Godox X-Pro trigger, the Godox AD400 Pro, and even though I didn't talk about it much, the Siconic L478D light meter. Before you go, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below and what you'd like to see in a future episode, maybe more light meter stuff. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My name's Gadgen, this has been Henry's Calling the Shot, and we'll see you next time.